Hello Evansville. It's almost Memorial Day when we honor the servicemen who gave their lives to guard our liberties. One pillar at the Four Freedoms Monument is the freedom of religion. I'd read from the Quran, Surah 10, Jonah. Is it a matter of wonder for men that we have sent a revelation to a man who is from themselves? At verse 38, and this Quran is not like anything that can be produced by anyone other than Allah, but for sure it confirms the revelations that went before it and a more complete explanation of the book. And I'd switch to the Book of Mormon, 2 Nephi chapter 29 at verse 6. Thou fool, that shall say, a Bible. We have got a Bible, and we need no more Bible. Have you obtained a Bible, save it were by the Jews? Verse 9. Because that I have spoken one word, you need not suppose I cannot speak another, for my work is not yet finished. Neither shall it be until the end of man, neither from that time henceforth and forever. Wherefore, because that ye have a Bible, you need not suppose that it contains all my words, neither need you suppose that I have not caused more to be written. So, I'm a little confused here. If the Quran explains the teachings of the prophets and this, uh, the Book of Mormon is the latest word, is Muhammad commanded to be a Mormon? Or was Joseph Smith really a progressive Muslim? I don't get it. But in America, I do get to ask. It's your turn, Evansville. Send us your favorite use of your favorite freedom. But remember, no cussing, please.